Hi, this is Greg Ruiz, Principal Evangelist at Adobe. You know, with all the talk surrounding HTML5 these days, you'd think it was going to save us from everything. It's the perfect cure for the web, including HTML5 video, of course. But there's a right way and a wrong way to go about delivering HTML5 video to make sure that all of your viewers are going to actually see video content. And using the HTML5 pack for Dreamweaver CS5, I'm going to show you how to do that right now. Okay, let's begin by opening up uh, the page that we've been working on in previous videos, our HTML5 page. We can, of course, see that this is an HTML5 page from its doc type right here. And I'll go ahead and turn on live view so you'll remember what the page was looking like before. Of course, we had our um, transitions as we hover over our menu elements. We can see that we've got some rounded corners here on these images as well as drop shadows and even some gratuitous animation just because we can. But of course, we're talking about video here, so let's go ahead and find out where our video goes. As we can see, we've got a placeholder here, video goes here. So since I'm in live view, of course, I'm not going to be able to edit over here. I need to go into my code to do this. And I'm just simply going to begin by adding in my video element. I'll just make some room here so that you can see clearly as I type. I'm going to begin by typing VI, and of course, that takes me directly to the video element. Now, the video element has several properties in HTML5, and as I type my spacebar, of course, Dreamweaver is going to reflect those properties uh, for me here. And I'm just going to begin by telling it I would like to identify which video it is that I want to use. This is, of course, my source video file. And I can browse to that video, and here I have an MP4 or H.264 video, and that's what I want to play back. Now, when I close my video tag, we're ready to go. As long as we're satisfied with only serving up a portion of our viewing audience, um, uh, or only a portion of our view viewing audience is going to be able to see this video. Why? Because we've chosen to serve it in the MPEG-4 or H.264 format. You see, only WebKit-based browsers, that being um, Safari and Chrome right now, can actually view the, this MPEG-4 video. For Firefox or Opera or Internet Explorer, no such luck. Now, I don't want to do that because, as I said in my intro, I want to make sure that I'm, I'm getting to everyone, reaching everyone. So I want to go ahead and just take this source file out, this declaration there. And instead, I'm going to go and add in another element. This element, oops, if I move up, is called the source element. Now, the source element is for my video and my audio uh, element. So then again, I can identify it just like we saw before with that SRC, as you can see, option. So again, I'm just going to paste in what I've already got um, on my clipboard there and say I would like to have that MP4 be one of the videos that I'm going to show. But I'm then going to go to my next line where I'll add in a second source. And this time, I'll just paste that in and say, I've got another video, an OG video or an OGG file. That is a OG video or OG Theora encoded video. This is the video format that makes Firefox and Opera happy. You see, this is a um, is an open source video format, and this is what they've chosen to play back. So now, if we were to refresh in our browser over here on Live View, because it is Live View, we can. This is the WebKit rendering of the page. We can see that we have a frame for the video. Now I can see that it's bleeding out just a little bit. So of course the video element has width and height that we can identify. So I can say, for example, 460 in my width, and we'll give it a height. I know that my height happens to be 360 here for these videos. And again, we can see that refreshing over in our live view. Now, right now we're just seeing a poster frame of that video because we've not asked the video to play in any way, shape, or form. We can do that by returning again to our video element and using a value called autoplay. The autoplay value is a Boolean value or a true false value. So when we place it into the element, that means that we are saying this is true. We would like this video to automatically play. Again, refreshing our page here, you can see that the, the video has begun to play. If I remove that, again, it would be just like we saw it before. So the video is just going to have that poster frame. Now, if it's not playing by automatically, then how do we get it to start? 
Well, of course, there is the option for adding in controls. So I'm just going to say controls. That is our option here. And again, refresh my page. And you'll notice that I'm not seeing anything happening here. In fact, I've even got a funny refresh uh, uh, problem here. Yeah, there we go. Just had to give it a, a little second. And so we see that we don't have any controls here inside of our live view. And that's um, just a current situation inside of uh, Dreamweaver CS5. We do not preview this um, simply because there's a, the, the controls look different based upon uh, the browser that we're viewing it in. So let's go and see, for example, what this looks like over in Chrome. And I'll go ahead and save my page so that you can see this. And we can see here is our video playing back inside of Chrome. When I mouse off and mouse back on, you can see that the controls are hiding and showing. And of course, I can um, zip through the, the video or scrub through the video just like that. Now, back over here inside of Firefox, we'll just ask for to preview the very same page. You can see that we have a video once again, and we'll play that and its controls look completely different. You can see as I'm mousing back on, on and uh, off, you can see them showing and hiding. And, but again, it is a completely different um, visual experience, but it is still HTML5 video. Now, of course, we mentioned Firefox, Chrome, Opera, um, Safari. One of them we've not mentioned, and that being, of course, Internet Explorer. Let's see what that looks like by just dragging on uh, a uh, version of Internet Explorer, this Internet Explorer 8 running over here inside of VMware. And I'm just going to refresh the page so that we can see what is going to happen right here where that video goes. And well, mm, it disappeared <laughs> because Internet Explorer 8, 7 and 6 for that matter, does not support HTML5 video. To get HTML5 video inside of Internet Explorer, we're going to have to wait until version 9 what format we're going to use, whether that becomes uh, the MPEG-4 or uh, Aug Theora or WebM, the new format from Google, we'll have to wait and see, although the Internet Explorer 9 team has said that they do plan on supporting MPEG-4. So what do we do, though, for all those older browsers out there? Because just because Internet Explorer 9 comes out doesn't mean everyone's going to have it tomorrow. What we're going to do is we're going to go back over here to our Files panel, and I'm going to go deliver video the way that I've always basically delivered video. I'll scroll down here so I can see where I'm dropping this. And that would, of course, be with Flash. I'm going to go ahead and drop my Flash file in it. This is the Flash version of the video. And you can see that I've now got a video element, the two source elements, as we just mentioned, and then finally, the object tag for my Flash player. When I save this page and bring back on Internet Explorer, we can see that as we refresh, we're now going to have Flash video playing inside of the page. And there we go, scroll down here just a little bit so you can see, of course, this is the Flash version of the video, and we can see that we can pause and start it just like we would expect. So with that, we have now been able to deliver content to basically anyone that is going to come to our website, whether they are on a new version of uh, the latest browsers of Safari or Chrome or uh, Firefox, it doesn't matter. They're going to get the video that their browser supports. If they're coming on an iDevice, of course, they're also going to get video supported on that iDevice. And for Internet Explorer and all those that don't support HTML5 video, we're going to offer up the good old standby, the good old, hey, play it anywhere, um, flash video. I hope this is giving you some insight into HTML5 video, and I hope you'll join me next time uh, when I'm going to be talking about how to skin your video controls. If you don't like those built into the standard browsers, then how do you skin it to get your own look and feel for your video? I hope you can join me then.